Um, so let's continue the conversation with Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, who's on the Homeland Security and Foreign Relations Committees. Uh, Senator, good to have you with us today as well. You know, it also reminds me of James Comey, the former FBI director, who said, you know, it's not just the dossier that we're relying on. There was other information out there, too, right? And, and that was a big deal because there were many who were trying to prove that the dossier was phony, that it was based on unsubstantial evidence. Um, and then they said, oh, no, there's other things, too. So I'm wondering, is this the other things that were out there that was substantiating an FBI investigation into the president of the United States? And if so, it, what is in here? Well, Martha, I, I felt for quite some time that uh, the whole Russian hoax was simply a diversionary operation to misdirect the American public from the real wrongdoing of the Clinton campaign and members inside the FBI and Department of Justice that were complicit in this. And, of course, the, the news media is also complicit. They were either duped or they're fully complicit in the entire Russian hoax, the, the four-year attempted coup against a you know, legitimately elected president of the United States. This is a major scandal. And as Congressman Nunes pointed out, the silence by most of the media is re very revealing. Um, so, again, you know, the, the whole discussion of this Mr. Jaffe, it's further diversionary tactics. Of course, they're going to plead innocent. Uh, our system presumes innocence, but you can't take your eye off what the indictment actually shows, and that shows the Hillary Clinton campaign directing and paying people to develop an inference of uh, Trump campaign collusion with Russia, which was completely false, but that they could provide to the FBI to start a, an investigation to hopefully uh, win the election, but what it resulted in is five years now. Yeah. Look at what America's gone through for the last five years because of this political dirty trick, these crimes against America. This, this is an outrage, and it's even more of an outrage that our news media is not covering it at all. Yeah, the Wall Street Journal says today it is one of the dirtiest tricks in political history. Mr. Durham should tell the whole sordid story, and it looks like this filing is just the beginning, um, and he's been very disciplined throughout this whole process. Just one last question, so we'll see what else he comes up with. And, and you know, obviously this is a formal uh, judicial process and investigation, federally designated judicial investigation. Um, it's, it shocks me when you look at the money that was spent, taxpayer dollars, on the Mueller investigation, right? And the years that went into that and the manpower and the lawyers, the high-powered attorneys who were all investigating it, none of them found this that Durham has found? No, again, this was a massive diversionary operation. We don't know who all was involved, but the American public deserve a full accounting. And I agree with you. Uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland must release the entire report from John Durham so the American public actually knows because congressional oversight, this is what we get from federal agencies when we try and conduct oversight. This is the kind of production we get. Zitch, yep. zip, you know, zilch, nothing. Yeah. And so the, the American public has to see this, and they also have to hold the news media accountable because they are completely complicit in this. I'm experiencing right now uh, in, in terms of Democrats making up stories and then the media running with it and smearing me. So that's, that's what happens. That's what uh, the complicity is of the news media with the, the Democrat Party. Yeah, the fact that you did not get cooperation in oversight from the intelligence agencies, uh, full cooperation where all of this would have come out is something that people really need to digest. And, and you know, this is elected government, American taxpayer dollars. They don't really have a choice in terms of sharing with you the things that you have asked for in order to do the investigation. And with regard to the media, this is Rich Lowry today in the National Review. Uh, he says it turns out the real threat to norms was the Hillary Clinton campaign, he writes in this opinion piece. He says, if anyone involved in the investigative and journalistic fiasco is embarrassed by it, they haven't shown it. If any of them thinks it's bad practice to spy on a campaign and a newly elected president to use the resulting information to try to gull U.S. government agencies, they haven't said so. And that is Rich Lowry's opinion that he writes today. No, they're not going to say anything about it because they are complicit in it. They literally are the communication apparatus for the Democrat Party. People need to understand that about the legacy media and the big tech social media giants. That is, the, that is what we're up against, quite honestly. And it's uh, on a, a host of issues that they are colluding and cooperating with each other and it's damaging our democracy. That is the real threat to our freedom and our democracy. 
Senator, let me ask you, we're waiting for President Biden right now to come out and speak about the situation unfolding on the Ukraine-Russia border. Um, if I could get your thoughts on what you would hope to hear from the president when he speaks moments away. Strength. Because what he has been uh, conveying since he took office was weakness. You open up our border, you have a flood of illegal immigration, you have massive deficit spending sparking 7.5% inflation, the embarrassing and dangerous defeat in Afghanistan. There's a reason that Russia's on the move. They're going to take advantage of a weak administration. So we need to show strength. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid that uh, Robert Gates said uh, President Obama's defense secretary is right. Joe Biden has been wrong on every major foreign policy issue in the last 40 years. His, his uh, record is continuing. Well, this is an enormous moment, obviously, for this president and for his team in terms of the response to this. Uh, I know, you know, there's been a lot of back and forth, but no sanctions bill that has come out of Congress. And I think the American people look at that and say, you know, how could that be? You folks up there can't agree on anything that would sort of tie the hands of Vladimir Putin uh, temporarily and really leave a mark? That is because the Biden administration won't let the Democrats agree to this tough sanctions they actually want to vote for. This is the Biden administration showing the kind of weakness. That, that's what's happening here on Capitol Hill. All right, Senator, thank you very much. Uh I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.